What's up guys, Chun here. Uh, today I've got a DPP OU match uh, against Fatty from Smogon. Uh, some of you guys do know him. Um, this match was from one of the earlier Rate My Team Cup tournaments and we got paired against each other around one. Um, I am using a new team that this is the team I actually ended up using in Smogon Tour 13 and this match happened uh, between that time frame of 12 and 13 so do want to apologize ahead of time for the speed guys I did slow it down because there's some pretty intricate turns on in this particular game but a pretty short one but a good one so uh, not to ramble on too long but uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get started here all right I'm gonna be leading with Raikou he's gonna lead with a heat train um, being that this is fatty and this is not a ladder match, I thought I might surprise him by staying in and going for an Aura Sphere since Raikou normally doesn't match up too well against Heatran. Um, thinking I could catch him with a, while well, he Stealth Rocks, but he's Choice Specs and he overheats for the one hit KO. So I bring in Tyranitar on the free switch to force Heatran out, get Sand up early. I decide to go for the Crunch to scout his switch. He goes into a Glide Score to take the attack, a pretty common switch in for Tyranitar. Uh, he goes for. He's going to go for a Toxic to scout my next move. Might have been hoping for a bulky Water or Flyer to switch in, but I show that I do have the Ice Punch and finish it off. Now, he's going to reveal Scizor on the free switch, and I could assume that this is the standard Choice Band set, but again, this is not the latter, so this could be the bulky Swords Dance variant that was very popular during this time. As much as I want to bring my Rocker in, I decide that Gyarados is the better switch in for now. He shows the Bug Bite and burns my Wackenberry, confirming my suspicions. Now, this is Dragon Dance Gyarados. It's too early to set up, so I scout with Waterfall instead to see what he'll do. He unsurprisingly sets up Swords Dance. Might look like a bad play, but plus one Bug Bite can hurt even Gyarados if it's not the bulky variant, which mine isn't. Hoping this thing doesn't have Roost, but I'm even more concerned about a second Swords Dance, so I show the Taunt. He does end up going for the Roost, so his fourth move has to be Bullet Punch. Now, I decide to Waterfall here thinking he would switch out after shutting down half his moveset, but he stays in the Bug Bite. And Scizor is a big threat to Tyranitar, and Gyarados has taken a lot of damage. I make a risky play and switch to reveal Magneton, hoping to fodder Gyarados at a good point later on, but he actually switches to reveal a Starmie to force Gyarados out. Uh, the turn where each player thinks the other is going to do one thing and the other ends up happening is always funny, but Magneton's Scarf, and Starmie is the very reason I chose Magneton over Magnezone, uh, since Scarf Magnezone gets outsped by Life Orb Starmie, so he does switch to Obama Snow. As I lock in the Thunderbolt, though, uh, it was pretty underrated. It's a great switch in the Starmie and Heatran. Uh, is easy enough to prepare for now, so. None of his common moves can touch Bronzong, though, bar Hidden Power Fire, so I go to it. And I'm gonna get the Stealth Rock up. Since now he's shown me something that's weak to Stealth Rock. After Grass Knotting, um, he goes back to Starmie. I know his in intends to force me out by possibly faking the Life Orb set and going for the spin to keep a bonus no healthy so I decide that Bronzong can take a hit if it has to and if he's gonna spin he's gonna pay for it and I go for the payback uh, was anticipating him to switch here since he's at risk of losing his spinner thereby limiting a bonus no switch in so I stay in the stealth rock again he does switch to heat train either to get a better matchup or predicting that I would go for the Oko with payback now with hail up I decide to bring T-Tar in again set up sand and prevent residual damage to some of my team hoping he go for overheat but he sets up stealth rock uh, Gyarados was probably the better switching in hindsight but I didn't want it taking a specs overheat and didn't expect stealth rock on the spec set although it is on choice heat tran sometimes so I just earthquake to finish the heat tran off figuring he's gonna fodder it out to get a free switch in he brings Starmie back in on the free switch I know he's gonna spin now so I pull a nasty switch here go to Gyarados back bring it back in to die to stealth rock so the spin doesn't go off and he went for it so I reveal Aerodactyl on the free switch since Starmie's in earthquake killing range go for it he does fodder Starmie out and he brings Obama Snow back in on the free switch to force Arrow out and get hell back up now I'm gonna decide to go to Magneton predicting the ice shard since I seem to have the speed advantage now with the Starmie gone and me having a base 130 speed poke he does ice shard as predicted now I'm gonna lock in a hidden power fire here I would either force him out to reveal his last, or he'll fodder a bonus no right here to get his last Pokemon in for free, since Scizor can't afford to switch in. He does fodder a bonus no, reveals his last Pokemon, which is his own Tyranitar. Now, first, I saw he had two Weather Inducers, 
it really floored me. I was thinking, why would someone have both on the same team? But it's really more about a bonus snow being a good switch in for water types. Uh, double weather is just icing on the cake, really. It's really not about that. So, um, anyway, this is where everything falls apart. Uh, he's running a Dragon Dance T-Tar with Ice Punch, almost the exact same set that I'm using. And he has a Lumberry over Shukaberry though. Uh, but I go to Bronzong as he Dragon Dances. I don't realize until now that I don't have a super effective move on Bronzong to hit this Tyranitar. So I freak out and go to Aerodactyl, expecting him to attack. But he Dragon Dances again, knowing that after two, he'll outspeed everything on my team. Uh, I do trigger the Toxic Orb, but it really didn't matter at this point. Uh, I might have had a chance if I kept Bronzong in since he'd be forced to Ice Punch. And I could throw two attacks at it before going down, which might have been enough to bring Magneton in and lock in the Thunderbolt to pick Titar off and hopefully beat Scizor. Uh, could have also gone to Aerodactyl immediately. Uh, even if he predicted to switch and use Stone Edge, I could bring Titar in an Earthquake. But uh, as long as Magneton stayed alive, I would have won. But regardless, I had nothing left to take on a plus two Tyranitar, and he sweeps me clean. But it was a good game, Fatty. I uh, do hope to play you again sometime. And guys, uh, look forward to my matches coming up. Uh, they are all from Smogun Tour 13. Uh, possibly some Wi-Fi battles uh, later on down the line. But until then, guys, Chana's out. Peace.